like a teacup in it. It's a whole like spilling the tea thing. No, that is not what this is. And if you're here for that, I'm really sorry. That's not what I'm doing. Check this Tin Man to highlight. Jamie Genevieve would be proud. See, this is gonna need a lot of editing. Oh, lots of erms. This video is gonna be riddled with erms, so you will have to bear with. It's, but it's who I am, okay? <laughs> Let's just puff up these damn sleeves, shall we? <laughs> Hi folks, I have just come from doing my five minute makeup challenge, so um, give me a shout out in the comments and explain if you think that I've done an all right job fixing my face. Welcome to another video. This video is going to be a story time video, which I used to consider myself really good at telling stories, like everybody loved it, like, you know, they were, they used to laugh when I ran, and the past year has been a little bit crazy, I've mentioned in other videos, and I feel like I've changed a lot, so I'm really worried that I've forgot, not forgotten, but that I, I'm not as good at it anymore, um, <clears throat> so these videos are going to be me attempting to make people laugh, and generally talk about the weird and wonderful crap that goes on in my life. <laughs> my request would be that if you can think of anything that you want me to talk about in the next one, then give me a shout. Um, also, what I would love is some ideas on what to call this series. Like, story time, when I look ones up on YouTube that say that have story time in the title, it's not quite what I'm going for. Is it like, it's not really podcasty because I'm not really speaking to anybody, but yeah, I'm not really certain exactly what I want to call it, so if you've got any good ideas, please give me a shout. Um, I have my cup of tea here. I've got a few notes here as well, just about silly stories and stuff like that. I'm not really certain like how long this video will be. I really hope that I won't have to edit it that much as well. That would be absolutely great. <laughs> but I do say that every time I do a video, so I'm not holding out much hope, but we'll see. I'm hoping to be able to embed some photos in here as I go along as well because some of the stories that I remembered they're good with sto they're good with like the photos, the photo evidence, the receipts as they say. But first things first, okay? I, this literally just happened to me while I was going downstairs and making my cup of tea. Um is that I yeah, I went downstairs and so I'll have to take you back, let me set the scene. So <laughs> earlier today or this week while I've been, I say in quarantine, but the UK is not in quarantine yet, it's just advised. Um, but I already booked this week off on holiday anyway to spend some lovely time with you guys. So um, so basically, um, so while we've been, at, while I've been at home, I've been having soup every day for my lunch um, with what I do is I get a couple of rashers of bacon and I just like grill them up, chop them up and put them in my soup. So if I've got like a tomato soup, it just makes it a little bit like a bit of protein, a little bit more interesting, etc. So uh, that's what I did and it's nice and quick and easy and it's great. So grilled up my it was grilling turkey bacon today and while I was doing that and cooking my lunch um, my sister got in contact with me about um, something that was going on at work. It was something quite outrageous and I was getting kind of angry about it and I was like kind of researching stuff on Google and stuff like that as I went along so that I could like back her up and things like that. Let me turn that off, sorry. I was like researching stuff and I got like really into it and I got on a rant. Basically what ended up happening was that I lost track of my bacon <laughs> and I burnt it a little bit. It wasn't, it was just a little bit on the crispy side. It wasn't too bad, but it was quite, it looked quite horrendous. I don't know what turkey bacon is supposed to look like, but it looked dark, uh, crispy. What ended up happening in the end was that I had taken my soup off the stove and then kind of plated that up, took my bacon out and then was like cutting that up, put it in my soup. And then obviously the place smelt really bad because I'd burnt the bacon. So um, I left all like the burnt edges like on the side to cool down. Left them there, had my lunch, watched a few YouTube videos. Then I went in the shower and got ready and then filmed a video earlier today. So once I came out the shower, I was like, oh, it still really smells of burning in here. I really burnt that tur turkey bacon good. When downstairs to make my cup of tea just now and found that I had left the stove on and I'd put the baking tray over the top of the stove. Luckily it was the lowest heat possible. However, I was 
then cremating the rest of the bacon bits. I'm so glad. Honestly, it could have been way worse and I was on the tiniest little bit of flame, but obviously I was like, oh my God, I'm obviously not very good at this co cooking malarkey. I'm really not. I burnt bacon and then I tried to set my house on fire. That's the time I nearly burnt my house down. I'm sure there's been other occasions, but that was the most recent one. So I thought that's funny because I didn't know how I was going to fill in a decent amount of time here. And so there you go. That's my first story for you guys. <laughs> uh, what else? What other silly stuff? So my life is filled with silly little things like that. My head runs at like 200 miles an hour and very often that's a good thing and I can get tons done. But on the flip side of that, sometimes I'm a little bit absent minded. Um, the other story is that there was one day where it was just a weekend day, you know, you, you kind of chill out, you don't do anything too quick. Um, you know, I'd had a nice lie in, I felt really good, had a bath, was feeling really chill and relaxed and uh, we decided to go into town. So um, I went into, so I started getting ready and I was just having fun, playing my makeup and not really paying attention, etc. And then when I realised that actually we had a dinner to get to that night um, with some family members, the <laughs> I then obviously started rushing and I finished off what I was doing really quickly, grabbed my jacket, put on some shoes and left. And so we got in the car, went to town, was walking around and um, I actually remember while I was walking around thinking, this is like a, I think it was maybe like January a couple of years ago, so it was still quite cold. Um, and I remember thinking that like my foot felt a little bit weird and I thought, oh, I must have stepped in a puddle, one's wet, blah, blah, blah. I look down and I'm like, oh, I must have left one of my shoes somewhere. And I'm kind of looking around and then I was like, wait a minute. And I look back down at my feet and I have two different shoes on, but they're two of my own, which means I left the house with two different shoes on. Oh my God, <laughs> who does that? <laughs> So obviously I'd been so absent-minded while I was like running around rushing about that I hadn't checked. Now, in my defence, in my defence, I put on two cream coloured dolly shoes. They were both the same colour, but they were different. And I will put up a photo here, just, I hope I can find the photo, but I'll put it up. So they were similar but they were not the same guys. And that was why when I was walking around, I felt like one of my feet was colder than the other and I just put it down to a puddle, but actually it was because the cut of the dolly shoes is different. And I had walked around for a good two hours with two different shoes on. Yep, that's the kind of stuff that happens to little old Jeannie here. I'm putting that out for the world to see and people who have like, just like my channel and all of my, uh, to be honest, I probably told all my friends and family that story already because it is hilarious. Like who does that? So that was the time I went to town with two different shoes on. But I've been really careful since. There was another time where, you know, I nearly, I did the same thing that everybody else does where they nearly leave the house with their slippers on because they're so comfy and you're just like, yeah, rocking it, going on, get my car keys, that's it. And you nearly walk out the door with your slippers on. So everybody's done that. So I don't feel so weird about that one. The other one that happened the other day though, and it didn't, it didn't happen accidentally. I actually made a conscious choice and I don't know if that's better or worse. But I was having a bad day and I was feeling very anxious and decided I'm just going to go for McDonald's. Now McDonald's is literally, I can see it from my house. It's not too far away. But with everything going on, I didn't want to go in and I thought I'll go to the drive through So I got in my car and I went, I went in my jogging bottoms, fine. Actually, I don't even know if I should admit this, but I went with no shoes on. I went in my socks. I don't, and the reason I say that is because I'm pretty sure that's classed as like dangerous driving in Britain. I'm sure someone told me that once, which I don't understand. But um, yeah, I mean, if there's any like uh, officials on here, then that wasn't me. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That was somebody else. That was another genie. <laughs> but for everybody else, yeah, I did it. 
but yeah, it was just, it was one of those, one of those days and if you've got like, I'm not, I don't have anxiety, I wouldn't say, but I'm having, like I say, a bad year this year where I am a lot more anxious about stuff and I had a very weird moment where I just couldn't pick what shoes to wear. So I was like, fuck it. Making this decision is stressing me out more than actually having to go. So I'm just gonna go. And I got my car keys and I just got in the car and that was that. Okay, so. I don't care, I did what I did and I stand by it. <laughs> uh, but a lot of people would laugh at me. But I never had to get out of my car, so it's not like anybody would know. So yeah, there's that one. What other funny shoe stories is there? I noticed when I was editing my last video, not my last one, but the one before, that I was saying essentially all the time. Like, and then I started to wonder, do I do that in everyday life as well? Do I say that? Like every, every sentence? If I do, that's incredibly annoying and I'm really sorry if I have. It's one thing that these videos do do is make you very, very conscious about how you speak, what you say and how often you say it. So like, um, and essentially, apparently. So uh, yeah, that was one thing I noticed. So I do apologise. My camera just auto-focused on like something here, thinking it was a little face. Oh, dear me. Mm -mm. No. Is that the devil or the angel? I should probably make these themed. I never even thought about that, but that's kind of come out quite nicely. So we'll make this about shoes and kind of shoe fails. Plus trying to burn down my kitchen. Like a teacup in it. It's a whole like spilling the tea thing. No, that is not what this is. And if you're here for that, I'm really sorry. That's not what I'm doing. There was a time that I was... <laughs> There was a time back when I was a teenager and you know you had like a pair of Vans or Converse's. I was an emo kid so I had Vans and Converse's and there was a time <laughs> where I'd obviously, I don't know what I did with my feet at that age but there was, you know, like you would wear your Vans and Converse's out like until they just needed to be scrapped. So like my Vans would have a hole like at the toe because they were slip-on Vans and your Converse would like rip in weird places. So there was a time that I was, um, I had my converses on and I was kind of, I think I was just walking down the street at this point. I wasn't doing anything silly, but you know, like someone, you know, like when you're walking along and someone's walking close up behind you, like they maybe clip your heel, like they stand on the back of your foot. Um, that happened and because my converse had ripped down the side, um, the sole of the converse just literally ripped right off. I must have been walking quite fast because I just literally walked straight out of them and then the sole was just there like it was still attached near the front of my foot but like the heel up until like halfway along my foot had come off like and so it was just flapping around that was that's not even that funny but it's still a story to do with shoes so I'm gonna put it in there <laughs> it was funny at the time though like just a mate just was like oh shit saw them like that yeah I don't think I've got any more stories shoes 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 anyway i'm gonna leave it there i really really hope you enjoyed this video it's something a bit different something not beauty related um and so but something i really want to do so um so yeah here's my first one and like i say um i hope you enjoyed it please leave me a comment below let me know whether you or not you did or you didn't what the next topic should be maybe um and names like a name for this series that's what I want um because I've got one for my makeup endeavors so trying out things that I'm absolutely crap at to try and get better at them so that's my series name I need one for this so please help me out and I will do it for you guys so uh yeah I'm gonna stop rambling bye bye Whew. I'm sweating as well it is hot in here. Whew. I'm gonna start that again. I'm really, really weird about hairdressers. Oh, that's a good story. I'll tell you why I'm scared of hairdressers.
These videos do do is do do is me. <laughs> oh god, I am. Um, two seconds. Let me write that down. Oh, see, I've lost it. I was on a roll. You probably get sick of that crazy dog lady on the on. on I was gonna say on the telly, but it might not be the telly. On the YouTube. 